Hey guys, today I am going to show you about GeForce Experience. As you can see, this is the overlay of GeForce Experience and you can reach it by pressing the combination Alt plus Z or Alt plus Z, however you call it. This is the overlay, you can see. This is just the icon of NVIDIA. This is written GeForce Experience. Uh, these three are the features. Actu uh, actually, I don't have any streaming device. If I had a streaming device, uh, they, there would be four tiles right over here. Uh, but I don't have one, so I'm getting only three tiles. Uh, this one is gallery. This one shows all the recordings of mine. I can delete them. I can. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the thing I can do. Yeah. I can see whichever upload did I did to this broadcasting feature and I can delete I can view I can play right away in the game or wherever I am this pop-up I mean I can't say this is a pop-up this this overlay can pop up anywhere it can be a, a direct text thing it can be a OpenGL software running up it can be any application video related application or it can be your desktop this can come up anywhere that's how it's featured to be let me sh uh, let me tell you the differences what I find in this one is mm, the broadcasting feature I find lazy to upload the videos so what I th uh, thought of when I saw this broadcasting feature why not upload the videos straight away while playing them so this saves me three steps to record yeah to use these two features uh, to record it saves me that time while I'm playing I can stream using this broadcast and the second thing is the time to edit and process that is the render the video that's being saved for me the third thing is sitting and uploading the video to YouTube so through this broadcast feature I save three steps uh, right now uh, I am in GeForce experience uh, video recording so I can't show you the settings panel right now so I have, I will attach you the clip of uh, recorded fraps to show you the settings to show you how you can tinker with the settings of these things uh, I will tell you what's the basic thing of this record see you can upload it after recording or you can play right away and start streaming to your YouTube you have to put the settings in the settings panel for broadcasting before you can do anything record uh, you can set 1080p 720p you can fix the frame rate I will show you that uh, instant replay uh, this thing uh, is like a timer okay. uh, as soon as you press this button what happens is uh, for a timer of 5 minutes your gameplay gets recorded and you can adjust the timer to 10 minutes or 4 minutes yeah uh, 10 minutes is the max timer this GeForce experience allows you to do so these are the three features uh, broadcast feature is not found in the previous one so this one is new and this overlay is really cool it will pop up anywhere that you want while the previous one uh, you have to do uh, desktop capture you have to put a desktop capture tick in the overlay so that wherever you go you can record the videos but in this one you don't have to do that wherever you are plus alt and Z, the overlay pops up that's the convenience you know hey guys uh, now I am using this OBS for capturing my screen uh, because uh, by doing this I can capture the GeForce experience why I'm doing this is when I press the record and start recording through this uh, Nvidia shadow play I won't be able to access this settings and show you guys uh, the features of it so I have to use an external screen capture OBS you can also use Camtasia studio so here I go I will show you the settings one by one this is connect and you can connect here uh, right now I am connected to my YouTube game manga so I can broadcast my 
games as I play directly to the account. Uh, I can also connect Google, Iba, Twitch. You must be knowing Twitch very well than YouTube Live. It has been over years. So this is for changing and manipulating your settings for broadcasting. You have to connect it, connect your account. So whenever you start broadcasting, see, you have to Twitch and YouTube. Right now I have settled for YouTube settings. So if I press start, uh, the broadcast will start with the settings of my YouTube directly to the YouTube channel. So if I press switch, it won't start. What? Ah, yeah. Go to the preferences and connect and login. See, I have to log in the Twitch account in order to broadcast it. Next one is overlays. Uh, in the previous update, you must you must have seen these two things: the FPS counter and status indicator. FPS counter is like fraps. What it does it? Uh, it shows the FPS of uh, the game uh, frames per second. That's the thing. Uh, overlay while you are in game. Okay. So you can choose in four graph. Like it's like an X Y X X Y graph. Uh, there are four quadrants. I have selected the right corner because I like it. <laughs> uh, viewers, uh, viewers, this one is for while broadcasting. If you want to show the viewers your uh, input cam, uh, people might have the input cam over here. You can adjust it. You can show your input cam as well as while you are broadcasting it. Status indicator. Status means uh, there is a right a right corner button. Uh, it shows whenever you have started your. Yeah, I can show it right now because I'm using OBS one. Uh, you can see the recording has started. That's a notification, and here my mic is being used uh, for the recording, which I can cancel here. See. I can cancel here. This video is for external camera, so that it can uh, stream the broadcast as well as uh, show you my camera. You can see me. That's what. This is for microphone option. So this is the notification that status indicator is. So I'm gonna close it now. And again, it's gone, and record has been saved. That is the overlay. That's the work of this one. I can shift the position anywhere I want. I like it here. I don't want viewers because I don't have a face cam. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. Like I said, uh, Alt plus Z. That combination is for opening and closing this overlay. You can align it to anything. I prefer Alt plus Z. The default one is good. The recordings. Okay. Here it comes. See, this is my... Uh, this is the name I call myself, but I'm low. I prefer to be called as Game Manga. Uh, recordings, uh, same thing. Uh, broadcast, okay. Uh, as you saw, when I click the broadcast button, you saw two things. Uh, it asked me whether you want Twitch or YouTube. Uh, that's because I gave it such a permission. Always ask me. I can also do for Twitch. It depends on my mood and the internet connection. Uh, you can set default to YouTube also. That's your choice. And the ingest server, the ping servers. This is this one is the near for me because my location is India. Next one. Privacy controls gallery. Always ask Google. Always ask me. Always ask me is for storing it in local drive. Uh, gallery notifications. Notifications. You must have seen recording has started over here. Yeah, that notifications. You can toggle it on and off. And there are many other things also. Depends on your usage. Privacy. And I will show you how to alter your game settings. That is the output of your video uh, on what settings you want the output to be. The recorded video, okay? It's updating. Just take a minute. Just took a second. That's fast. Okay, this is the new GeForce Experience window. These are the games that I have. 
I don't know why it's showing two. I didn't scan it properly, I guess. Uh, next thing is account, I guess. No, not account. Go to the settings. Same. It redirects. Okay. Uh, here you have to give your details here so that it will be easily accessible for your broadcast. You can either give it there or here. That's your choice. These are the games I have. Shield, I don't have any shield. Ah, yeah. This shield. If I had shield, I would have got four tiles. I already said that. See, as you can see <coughs> the quality you can adjust low medium high the medium is mostly 720 pixels 720 p i mean 1280 into 720 that's the resolution it will capture it you can change the frame rate over here but i had some problems in both instant replay and record settings both the settings are the same here it depends on the time interval of here see five minutes you can adjust the minutes according to it uh, see for 5 minutes if you give high settings 1.9 GB it's estimating the output file right over here but when you decrease uh, to medium 5 minutes 8 to 5 MB there's a lot of difference uh, there would be a lot of difference between low and medium you can see a lot of MB difference uh, um, record also same settings only I have given high settings. I can customize it if you want. See, like I can upscale it to 4K, but I, uh, but I have a 1080p HD monitor. It's locked to here. I can upscale it, but still it would be recording in a 1080p only. There won't be any difference at all, unless and until you have a 4K monitor. So it's high resolution, whatever you give in game. 60 fps or 30 fps i would recommend you to go with 30 fps if you want to broadcast your video using this geforce experience uh, the bitrate is 50 mb per second you can adjust it a little well but don't go too much low like uh, near 30 or 20 your video clarity won't sync with your audio clarity it would be like you would be moving forward and telling that i'm moving forward but your audio will get a delay and tell you when you jump there won't be sync at all so have it that in mind mm, that's it that's what i want to show you guys uh, 